in peace last time they were here you guys were just to break them today and so what do you feel so far so uh, yeah the last few games we just haven't been playing um, as really good basketball we understand that um, it's kind of disappointing because we had some practice time we thought to correct some things but we have to figure it out um, you know we're still trying to form our identity we have to figure out how to get our chemistry and everything going and get back on track but uh, we have what we need in this locker room it's just really about the mindset and uh, you know taking that next step mm -hmm. and what are some things that you feel that you feel like you have to get ready to do so be prepared for that game on the next you know we have to play defense it really comes down to our defense if we're able to Defense, even to stop, we're able to get out in transition. Right now, we're not executing as well as we would like to, but you're not a team that's executing well, you have to get easy baskets, and that's something we haven't been able to do. But uh, for me, it's always about our defense. If we're solid on the defensive end, then we're able to really start igniting and feeling good on the offensive end and get some easy baskets. Uh, that's that's what we have to do until we become that team that we want to become and, and be a team that can execute and put teams apart. So you think that today's game was a little more aggressive than usual? Because it was a little bit chippier in the well, first and the second. You know, that's Indiana. Indiana's a physical team. They've always been. Um, they come in. They want to try to push you around. I, I really thought that we held our ground as far as the physicality. But um, at the end of the day, they're still they still have a core that's played together for a while. So they execute their things and. Um, they're, they have more veterans to, 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 to more of a veteran squad, I would say. And so uh, I think that really uh, hurt us a lot, especially in the first quarter. So last weekend, I don't know if I didn't know, last weekend, yeah. you had some kids come down from Pennsylvania for the Catholic Cook Foundation, and you guys basically took over New York City. So <laughs> we had a great day. So tell us a little bit about that. Uh, well, yeah, my charity, Cash for Kids, is our 10th year anniversary. Um, I've been doing it for 10 years. Thank you. Um, and it's, uh, you know, I always laugh because uh, I really feel like I'm just a humble servant. Uh, to have this ability to, to have this platform to help other kids, not only for my neighborhood, but around the world, has been been awesome and what we've been able to do with Cash for Kids is really expose kids to sports, not just basketball but all different sports with our, through our partnerships and keep them in, keep our league stuff going so the kids aren't on the street but they're active in sports um, and also academic enrichment and cultural experience and that's what they got coming here to New York. They were able to get a little bit of everything. They got the history of Statue of Liberty, they got a little bit of culture, and they got a little bit of sports with the basketball. So uh, I'm just really excited um, that I've had the ability to have great volunteers and people support me with my charity. Um, a lot of times we don't scream it from the rooftop, but we do amazing work at the grassroots level, and that's how I kind of want, always wanted it to be. Awesome. Um, so you also were on the Melissa Harris Perry show about two weeks ago, and one thing that I've always admired about you is that you are able to kind of represent the WNBA very well across different forms of media, not just on the court or sports-related media or channels or platforms, but news or, you know, major networks like CBS. So how important is that for you to do this? Is that you thought about before? Like, is that one of your things where you're like, you know, as a player, I need to represent my brand as well as the league's brand? Um, you know, I've been very blessed and I've worked extremely hard to try to open up those doors for myself. Um, and it hasn't always been easy. A lot of times people look at you as a female, especially WNBA players and athletes, and they um, they want to put you know put you into a box. And I've had to prove myself that you know one, I'm not just only a good athlete, but I also think about other things outside of sports. You know, I follow what's happening on the political landscape. I follow you know things that happen trends in our in our country and even also around the globe. And um, so to have the opportunity like, to go on MSNBC to work with CGS. Um, those have been amazing. I hope that other doors will open up, and that's what I'm pushing for. You know, as retirement is coming near, I hope that I would be able to show the skill set that I have, not only on the sports side, but also on the entertainment side as well. And the last question I have for you is, one thing I'm always reminded about you is you're very vocal. When you're on these platforms, you say your opinion, it may be uncomfortable. I also saw you at the um, Sports Business Journal panel last year, and you were very vocal. That's the media. You said, we need you to 
and our games and everything else. So given those some of the societal issues going on with these women, sports and everything, you raised anything like that. Um, how is that something that you sometimes think about? Like, should I say this or should I say that? Like, how do you know how to be vocal and make your opinion out there without? I always tell people this: is that of course, as an athlete in a position, we always kind of think about certain stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, but at the end of the day, I stay true to who I am, and I'm authentic to the core, and I don't try to be anyone else. And uh, you know, that's really what it comes down to. <laughs>